about a little tasty Thursday? Joel Harrow is here, chef and owner of Love Puppies Brownies. Really the talk of the town. You got something going here. Welcome. What Thank are you going to make for us? Kind of a, an, an interesting combination, right? It's a, it's a take on uh, classic bread pudding. The holiday's coming up. Uh, bread pudding finds its way on a lot of tables. This yeah. is, this is a, a variation I made using uh, Love Puppies Brownie right. ends right. and uh, combine the taste of Guinness beer. Uh, with the chocolate and uh, come up with a uh, beer and chocolate pudding. As anybody who's had it will tell you, that's a perfect combination. All right, let's get started and, okay. and see how it goes. Tell, you're going to take the, 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 the ends, right? We have just the ends, and we've, we've uh, made them stale. We put them in the oven, dry them out, get them nice and crisp. Why just the ends? Crispier? <coughs> Crispier, yeah. yeah and, okay. and, you know, people like to eat the brownies. Right, sure, in the middle. So sure. okay. these tend to get uh, left to the side. Okay. So we take... Uh, Half cup of beer. A little Guinness. Why Guinness? Well, Guinness... Um, Other than the obvious reason. Guinness goes really well. It's really rich. You can use Shiner Box. Shiner right. works really well. Okay. Uh, and then we take a, a, a cup of cream. Cup of cream. And we're going to let that soak for about five minutes. Okay. And let all that goodness soak up in the brownies. Perfect. And while that's soaking, we're going to take a couple eggs. Uh-huh. Is this just trial and error for you? Did you just come up with this and, and it turned out so good? Well, you know, you, you have some... Uh, some recipes you go off of, you yeah. make changes, you make um, adaptations, right. and you know, maybe sometimes you don't have. Is that a little butter with two eggs and sugar? Butter, eggs, sugar, okay. and vanilla. Okay, perfect. So, uh, you know, you, you uh, use what you have yeah. sometimes, and you just mix it up by hand a little bit, get it all mixed up. Very good. Now, once this pudding's done, you can put all kinds of toppings on it. Oh, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can really get experimental. Yeah, you can put whipped cream. You can do chocolate sauce. You can do fruit compote on top. You could put chocolate chips in it while it's baking. Yeah, you can just go to town with it. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to take and just put this right over the top. Fairly simple ingredients, you know. Very simple. You might be able to try this at home. The recipe's on our website if you want to give it a try. Very simple. And... Good fresh ingredients yep. always makes a big difference. Sure. Just kind of incorporate it all a little bit. Is your goal to saturate those now? Yeah. Since, since they're dry anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. And they'll, they'll, once you put it in the oven, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really gonna soak it all up. Okay. So. I want to talk uh, briefly about the website, lovepuppiesbrownies.com, right? You can find all the locations. Mm -hmm. You can get these brownies. Tell us about the different varieties and, and the ones that you brought with us. We have seven different flavors. Yeah. Uh, very traditional chocolate. We have peanut butter. We have um, our uh, Burn in Love has right. chipotle peppers in it. Our blonde brownie has pecans, chocolate chips, mm -hmm. mint, uh, and mocha. People have seen these all over town. Torchy's Tacos, Austin Pizza, Dominican Joe's, uh, Live Oak uh, Market, Live Oak right? Market, Rosedale Market, St. David's Coffee Shop. On the website, you'll see a whole location of places you can get They're these. If you've had them, you know. They're worth the hunt to find them out. Okay, and tell us about the, the holiday pack. You guys have a special for the gift holidays, box, right? Gift Great box gift for the box. holiday. Uh, it's a dozen assorted, any assortment you want. You can do all one flavor. You can uh -huh. do as many flavors as you want. Comes uh, wrapped up, a little bow and uh, sticker, and there it is. Perfect. You can order that right online, too, can't you? can order it online. Okay. What's your favorite? What's your favorite one? Oh, uh, you yeah. know... <laughs> That's I'm gonna say the they're all my, butter, they're, although the blonde they're, is they're all my they're all my is, kids. Is, is, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, I, I hate to pick one over the other, but you know the the, the basic chocolate and the peanut butter have yeah. to be. Had it. Okay, now this is the is this the finished product here? You, this is the finished one. This one went into our oven. The oven. This goes for about 30 minutes. Ovens are gonna vary a little right. bit, but about 30 minutes, and then it'll come out. Yeah, there we have it, and the toppings you can go. You can really experiment, right? Oh, there you yeah. go. Oh, look at that. Just go crazy with the toppings. Perfect. There we go. This is just in time for the holidays. Comes out ready to go. Right Real on. simple. Let it sit for a few minutes, and and you got a nice little And out it comes. Pudding. And as you yeah. scoop that, I'm going to thank you for being with us, Joel Harrow. And don't forget, lovepuppiesbrownies.com. There's a location at 101 Koenig as well. And go to that website and definitely try these. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Come Thanks. back, okay? Thanks for having me. All right. That's your Tasty Thursday. Still ahead.